wide with the game for the World Cup we have Leonard World Champion versus the King of the Castle Dave Bamford uh, in the fifth or uh, in the fifth matchup yeah for the from the Germany UK final uh, currently the score is three to two so fifth yeah fifth okay and tomorrow we have three games tomorrow to cover uh, stop asking me for password so that's how the things look like if we are curious what the decks are both players are avid martel fans we all know what they can do with the faction and we've seen them perform exceptionally through the Swiss and the uh, Dave for some reason have been a common uh, show on our channel but oh well by this point we're all very familiar with the deck basically it wins with the run game uh, but we haven't seen uh, Leonard's deck at least I don't recall commentating with it uh, it has a lot of interesting cards with it, 18 attachments, uh, quickly check, checking if the game started, it hasn't, so go back, uh, and an you know, interesting array of uh, character. of course we have 3 times Sorian here, while wow, compared to only 2, uh, we have Core Ario, uh, in recent uh, decks looks like that the Claim Ario, I forgot the name, looks a little bit more play, but oh well, uh, that's what it is. Um, attachments, Martel have all the negative attachments, most of them are non-terminal, like uh, all attainted, uh, condemned and imprisoned, so that's a complete revenue of cards. Ario Hota is one of those very interesting cards where we have the jumping cards in and out of shadow with uh, not Dornish Pie. Uh, he's not running the. But what was what? Wait a minute, give me a second, I don't know the restrictions here. Uh, it's not this Viper. What's the restricted? Not Dorn. Uh, no restricted? Ah, trade routes, okay. Restricted trade routes. Would have guessed it's a good card. Um, okay. What happened to that game? No one's there. So we wait. Looks like. Did my PC decide not to? Uh oh. I assume we're waiting for another. So, as I was saying, matchup, I think it's 50 50. Uh, a lot of jumping stuff around, a lot of uh, interesting triggers and dynamics throughout the whole uh, deck, throughout the whole game I assume. There is a Gaston in Dave's deck that could probably help to slow down uh, this Viper, uh, mainly because he wants to be attacking. We have uh, expansion uh, Doran for additional, uh, this is the typical control deck that to, we would expect to see from uh, Leonard. So yeah, and then the neutral attachment is the standard array. Looking by the things, key for the matchup will be venomous blades. I think for both sides. Uh, we have to be jumping that F5 button. Until the game decides to show up. Quick overview of my decks. I mean, there is a one or two Nightwatch decks here, though. 
Don't be distracted by that. Why? What is going on? Well, we'll patiently wait, but uh, we'll see. I don't think that's the game, I don't see anyone in it. So. Let's play the site. Maybe that will help? Nope. So, looks like the game is still not. Uh, there is not much uh, to say. Uh, basically, it's it will all depend to, on the flow. Okay, so we're waiting for Leonard to hold the game. Looks like Dave. Uh, looks like uh, the UK are leaving their internet behind as well. Uh, but we'll see. all my part of exile stuff and I think mm, look at the meta there looks like there are a lot of diversity I wonder how the new pack will shake the things the things we do for Wolf basically money at this time so. So. people in chat what have been your latest projects outside of the standard meta Yeah, almost a bit final, but nope. Okay, here is here we go. Everyone jump. There wasn't even a password. This will be fun. Okay, full screen, and we're ready, waiting for them to start. We are running a little bit behind, but I'm pretty sure we we are up for a amazing game. So, yeah. Uh, I'm really really looking forward to it. Basically, this is one of the matches that I mean nothing you can say. Basically, on it's a good. I expect it to be a slow and grinding uh, game, slugfest on both sides, but we'll see. I mean, we may be here for a while, guys. Typical day fashion. And I decided to make a mulligan. Let's hope the new year and the mulligans are kind to them. Not bad, not great. The card set up for day. And we have the card set up for Leonard this way. Oh! So something that we didn't talk about is the marches and stuff, uh, but uh, quickly check. Uh, reset the choice, we have all the resets, March, First Node, the Harris, Murgulis. Riddle for that one, reset from Dave's side as we mentioned, we've seen the deck a lot. And here the reset the choice is World Harris. 
both of them are running you win or you die oh actually i lied dave is martin is not running the stupid pot no uh, exchange but both are running pretty on the head so bad heads uh so yep there are a few dead pots here like expose duplicity uh, first no is probably helping both players to be honest uh, although there are some really big characters in uh, Leonard deck so that may allow a march but then again a lot of as you will see ambush uh, characters looks like Leonard is generous Dave is not although I don't even know if Dave was running the pack I don't remember at this point uh, yep, just because he's not running it. Mm. Oh, the time cost was won by Leonard, it looks like. Yeah, and so, oh, and with this we have Dave going first. Greenboard Trader, same old, same old. All time best Martel characters. Okay. I'm expecting Dorn. I mean, there wasn't a game where they didn't start with Dorn up to this point, so I'm expecting for him to draw it immediately again. Ooh, big chunky army immediately. Let's see what the response from uh, Leonard will be then. Uh, Leonard found his water gardens already. So we'll see it uh, speeding up uh, a little bit. Uh, good thing about the army is it's no attachments, and maybe that's why they've uh, rushed it out. Knowing that there is no hard reset in the face of Morgulis, that army will be dead until the end of days. And gaining strength and being pain in the ass. We see Lingering Venom, so every time Leonard loses a challenge, uh, Lingering Venom gets a token and when the tokens reach the strength of the character it kills it If the character is saved the tokens stay, uh, the attachment still stays there So Then after that point it will just eat through old dukes and stuff One of those Unfriendly conditions Looks like Leonard is wondering if he wants the coin or the card from the agenda or he's having internet issues. Let's hope it's the first one. Looking at the board he does need to develop a little bit more just because the army and Nymeria in combination will eat through the board pretty efficiently I mean there yep so Leonard really disconnected um, as I was saying the, the host and Nymeria in combination will both eat through the board pretty efficiently kneeling and claiming Oh, we are up, we are up for a very rough start by the look of things. Uh. <laughs> they further mentioned that he has a connection issue with that's why Leonard is hosting but looks like Leonard is also having some troubles so he decided to draw a card more than enough economy at his disposal so 
this makes sense sense okay both orange grow come on guys just leave the chat join the channel don't bother the players this is so annoying i mean i'm already tired of saying this so we hit the heist into gate for uh, Leonard. So his economy is a little bit ahead. Uh, at this uh, point, so Water Garden is active for those pesky attachments. Ooh, Venomous Blade. So the Green Bull Trader will be gone. And there is still more than enough gold uh, left. Nothing much. Right. So the game will be sold down well by the internet in general. Uh, and we see second draw for the agenda. Uh, looking at this, this tells me that uh, Leonard Hemp is full of attachment, so he's looking for uh, a little, the, the, the little, so he needs to draw into a little bit more characters. Into a few more characters, honestly. Hmm. And we have condemned for the power right on Nymeria. One more card draw. Ooh, he gets a coin. Deviation in the initial strategy. Quickly check. I, I think uh, there are nightmares in. Okay. So, takes in Nymeria on Nymeria action. Okay, so we could see nightmares and something bad happening to the army, like milk. But it's still a not a bad body for Martel, although very bad. Uh, 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 cost for a just blank body. Uh, the green bot trader um, got poisoned. You would have imagined that the Martels are immune to poison, but looks like that's not the case. And maybe, unfortunately, we will definitely see here a military challenge go through effectively. Uh, or not, actually. So, Nimeria could do the military icon and then. New Nimeria because uh, there is enough claim, and then just do an intrigue challenge with the spy. Although it's curious how many challenges does uh, they want to do be, be, just because of Tinkering Venom is there. Although I'm pretty sure Nimeria is only one in his deck. Then, yep, he has only one Nimeria, so nothing. Uh, to be scared of there. Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll just go direct to military. And intimidate. If it goes on the pole, just intimidate him area and steal the military icon from uh, the Dormitify. And that will make sure you don't get military back. Um, other options. Yeah, we. Okay. So it looks like Dave is not that scared. Or is hoping that the interview will go on the polls. There is no his viper guys in Renard Deck, so I'm not going to play around that one. We see you on a post challenge. So now Nimeria will be definitely intimidated. Uh, and then the military icon uh, stripped from the Dormant Fire. That will ensure the safety of the board. I assume. Uh, yep. Looks like Renard missed that or forgot about it. Or we are looking at the discard. Oh! Uh, so, yep, that's a hefty discard there. Although I'm pretty sure there are more in the deck. Uh, the question is is it 2 or 3? Okay, 2 star fall, so. <laughs> so with this day we will get uh, Intrigue and Power Challenge uh, thrown at him So let's see what uh, how it's Leonard work Or Dave's work I mean Dave's look by this looking this is fine uh, Let's see on Power Challenge And Drum roll That's a nice discard as well. Although a bit early in the game, but it is his solo discard. <laughs> yep. Just the question is if they will be played or discarded. Uh, with this, Renard will be ahead. In the end of the round, and looks like the his position is pretty solid. Uh, the Venomous Blade actually helped a lot. The Intric. Uh... <laughs> Thunder Banter And Dominus will go to the end of the challenges Uh, for those that were at Kalec Glory Days, uh, Leonard played this up to top 8, I think, to best of Martel, I know. Uh, just because then we had a player that was the second best Martel, but yeah, well deserved. Very interesting deck. Uh,
When we walk into the deck, we find it that we just don't even take enough time to test it, but still a very solid approach. I think it could be looked at in several different ways and can be built in a several different uh, archives. I think there is made for a little bit of shadow nonsense just because Hota Axe and the uh, shadow guys that bring other, sh other shadow guys out of shadow. So basically they cycle into each other and hot tax is like free real estate at that point and also most of the cases ensures winning challenges on offense and defense constantly at least the intricate power challenge and the cards are pretty safe But then again, I think you need to play Flea Bottom in that deck, that's where my mind is wandering off to. But. Oh, so, what face? So, return to the wrong haste and they feel fit into his freedom, I assume. For all the juicy, juicy gold. I'm expecting to see a riddle. They will be first. Unfortunately, no masters to just print in, to flip into outfit and just cancel the weather review and leave him with measly five, eight gold. Oh, like uh, Dave has something else in mind. Looks like that the water opponent doesn't help him, so maybe he's looking into developing a little bit. Maybe throwing down one more army. Knights of the Sun or the draw three, which currently is not active, but still it's an, it's an army, no attachment. So we could see mining, uh, maybe for snow, although that spy has an ambush and could prove to be a very difficult to deal with considering how much gold there is at uh, Leonard's side. But maybe this will limit him into marshalling onto the board. So we'll see. Hey Dark, welcome to the stream. A very peculiar choice for uh, Dave. I wonder if he has something big in hand that, that he's planning for. Maybe Starfall, which he's hoping to control the board with. I'm not quite sure about this play. Just because the Dornish Spy is here, it doesn't bring me confidence. And the dev keep marshalling. So it looks like uh, Dave has his uh, tricks. Uh, as mentioned, that hot axe 
that it will be currently now reused uh, on the Dornish Pie, so it's for free with the uh, Water Gardens card draw as mentioned by by the looks of uh, this I think Renard is struggling for cards so. Interestingly he, I mean, he played the hot axe there to reuse it uh, But uh, then again, maybe I would have considered putting it here so Mary doesn't get that easily intimidated, so you can do actual stuff with her to some extent. Although the plan here is for her to get marched, I assume. Next turn. And we see a big one. A big one. So looks like Doran will be here to hold down the fort, and I do expect yeah to Leonard to pass the marshaling now. Uh, more than enough gold for all the ambushes, more than enough gold for Nenigans on both sides But yeah, that Doron is scary If he stays at the board And now the initiative for XMC is in Dave's hand, so let's see how to play this uh, for those that never seen this card, uh, it has uh, two effects. One is controlling the board with when the uh, like we could see here. So Nimeria to remove an icon from the host, and then Dorm can jump it to hand. Although that doesn't do much for the for Leonard. Just because there is mining to mining the city wall that can bring them back efficiently, uh, it's a great combination if you play the remove from hand stuff. Uh, but that's not it. And then as a reaction, you can either uh, remove an icon uh, after you lose a challenge. You can choose a character, and that character gains or loses an icon of your choice. Yeah, looks like that's his plan. Moving the military, and I expect this to be uh, not sure. Oh, okay. So looks like Dave is holding he calls the thinking, and that's a clear tell by the okay. So there was a south form with this. Uh, and this ensures uh, that uh, he gets trigger of the attacks as well. And now Nimeria needs to take the military icon and she can be jumped as well with uh, Dorn. With Doran. <laughs> I'm not saying that there may or may not be a Vower. But he does have the Harris to protect himself from this. So I wonder if now he will swing with the with Nemeria and force uh, the hand. Although the condemned will uh, condemned will go back to hand, more than enough resources there. And then we have uh, the lingering venom triggering. But if she is jumped, that will go to the uh, Nimeri is relevantly important for the board at Dave's side, but she is a one up in the deck, so killing her is not that big of a blow. Uh, the deck is mainly depending on the armies, mainly dependent on the armies, but with uh, he has to find a way to deal with uh, Nimeria and Doran. Uh, that's quite a troublesome. Uh, Combination <laughs> on this takes the military icon. So we'll see at least military challenge now, unless Nimeria, uh, Nimeria already took an icon. So, yeah. So, Nimeria will take an icon doing military and probably get jumped. 
or something like that. Although there is four gold purpose of the wilderness too, so we can see the ambush shenanigans happening. Quick disconnect for uh, Leonard. I can, I can try the charm or it will be a third one Not sure what Leonard is referring to. Uh, that's for the intrigue challenge. Yep, so there's two in the intrigue challenge. That's not like the board game that the challenge <laughs> disappears. They're still in the tree the in the in the channel, so I just have to click through the actions. Yep, the channel still hasn't finished. <laughs> I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, Leonard is aware how the quality thinking works, but I do think uh, he is. Oh. Let's see. As mentioned, there is no need for him to expand the ambush plane, the dormant icon plane, so we'll see the military icon uh, the military icon regardless, and now maybe Doran will jump. Yep. Uh, he calls it thinking, maybe, although that will be paid with, without uh, second thought. I would think so. And Oh, he just removes her from the challenge? Wouldn't uh, return to hand? Oh! <laughs> Nothing to worry then that much. Uh, and no winner or loser of the challenge. So it's obvious both players have tricks in their, uh, up their sleeves. But uh, let's see. Uh, the Dorn Spy will not be able to take the icon. I do feel he will, I have the feeling if he ambushes him, he will be uh, either are you hotted out of the challenge or his icon will be, st will still on, will, will be stolen in uh, regards. If I see an intrigue challenge, you would be usually very scared of this, but then again, there is only one Doran game in Leonard's deck, and there are only two you support. Not that much, although every little bit from Martel counts. Every power is so precious. Okay, so looks like there was Hota. And now do we expect to see military ambush out of somewhere? I mean, 
thing to notice there were three challenges up to this point none of them was uh, won by any finish without people in it so hashtag martel things Uh, uh, at trainer position, I think I would just do the power challenge and leave it like that. No, and not worry any more about it. Uh, I don't think it's wise here to expand uh, the resources. Knowing that there is, probably knowing that there is a code in the hand. And we see Gaston jumping Doran. Unfortunately, no, he is Viper dies in David deck as well. So, mention Dorni Spy and he called it thinking. What? I'm pretty sure. Okay, so maybe that was not the case with the other two then. So, Nimeria will bite the dust here, definitely. There is one more Ario in... Uh... Oh no, Ario is also one now. I was the impression that they played like this just because he knew uh, he had uh, closed with picking him or something along the line, but looks like that was not the case. And Dominant goes to Leonard. He's at the whooping Stevan. Pretty much uh, pretty far ahead, to be honest. So we will see now the return of the army with the. Mining the city walls, I would expect. And I'm not sure if uh, we see our favorite discard guy of the next port. And Tanner is here. One thing that we weren't about to watching Dave play from the past few months is that. His deck is never out, he could close in like a challenge facing or something. Maybe two. And it looks like this time he's just trade up riddles. So he's planning to marshal his armies out of hand. Uh, or, or and maybe he's wanting just the initiative now to make uh, Leonard go first for for a time. Although again more than enough economy, Doran will be back on the board. Maybe Viper. Who knows? And disconnect. He gave up, he cannot play first. Not so well. Things happen. Play out, Rido. Towers of gold.
and back then I'll find this down first and for free I mean who would like to spend their perfect 15 gold I don't even carry that many tokens with me come to think of it for gold my decks never go over 5 More than enough for me, bound to the low cost too. You see green dreams probably will be put on the area so although that's another terminal attachment. So looks like the south form will be there to stay quite some time. What can you do for Dave? There is not much power on his action card else. Leonard may be in a closing distance with a uh, if there is a Doran's game is three five although I do expect him at some point to start controlling the interest challenge the best of his abilities uh, both in merit being on the board is a animation pain to deal with to see uh, I mean okay so I'm not sure about the trade routes actually now but I think of it. yeah you do need the economy to marshal is he going to marshal both of them that would be surprising ooh okay now that's a fun card to have also sun snake oh no she's not a sun snake no. So what could go wrong with uh, 10 cards and 15 gold? Interesting, he kept Doran. So now that the Gaston is uh, gone, looks like he would like to push, put some pressure with the Viper and few on opposed challenges. I mean, basically everything is unopposed with this guy, <laughs> or could become unopposed with Curtis of Media, or an ambush. Attachment. Ooh, but there is a Gaston begging brother coming to help with the whopping triple stall. Yep. Although there is more than enough triggers here to burn through everything. He is amazing in a control builds if you can give a little bit more icons. I do remember I'm I was sad that she is not a sun snake. Uh, I don't remember what I was trying to do with her, but I do remember she was sad she is not a sun snake at some point. I think there was an attachment of something that I wanted to do bullshit with her. And let's see how the challenges phase will go here. That Gaston is definitely pain to deal with, but uh, my thinking is just play into it. And military challenge probably go on a post, and the uh, south one will. And the green bot trader, the second green bot trader, will both claim. It's quite possible that uh, Renner decides to keep the Viper for uh, defense, although there is the carries on the other side, so one way or on another, I think they will have to remove the board with him being this far behind in quotation marks. Uh, and you see a Dorney Spy removing the Intrig icon. It looks like he's paving way for a Doran game. And to see the spy opposing. And. 
Oh, interesting. So I was expecting to see Venomous Blade or something along those lines. So the, now the spy will go for claim. But it looks like they doesn't want to win that many challenges, just the ones that he does need to win. And looks like he has one more ambush in front. Okay. The trader went away, so he's not planning to use anything in this challenge. Uh, we see Nimeria used to steal a Warrior's icon. Honestly, not sure where Dave is headed with this. I mean, obviously, Doran's game, but. That begging rider will not stop, not achieve much on him alone. And the power challenge is relevantly important. And that's how you win the game, basically. And I do expect the part to be with the South Pole now. No need to. Ooh. So looks like he just won't just to win the challenge definitely. I mean, I'm not sure about the point of being with both of them. I think that the begging brother will cancel the Avaria trigger. Yep. Almost. Uh, this is kind of a bait, I think. Uh, kneeling the begging brother will make sure that uh, challenge will go on the post, although it will probably force uh, Leonard's uh, hand to remove an icon. In fact, he doesn't need to or doesn't want to get the on post. I mean, on the poster now is not that bad. Honestly. Or he's just thinking ahead for the potential removal of the board. Well at least you get renowned. Renown is important and we see that Dave didn't trigger this uh, Gaston. So he does definitely want to reset next time, just the question is what, what the reset will be. So do here is, is an option it will allow the reuse of potax. Uh, but I think that Leonard will play do here is himself just to save his character and then they will also flip the heads. I think that will probably what will happen. I don't expect to see more cooles. Considering that the heads is out there. Or they could just play March for the heads. That would be very sweet. Although he'll be also left with one character. To one character. So depending on that those characters will be. You see Dorney Spy ambushed removing another intrigue icon. <laughs> Who would have guessed? And this is forcing Nimeria to do the intrigue. And I think that Dave wants just to defend that one. 
Leonard is coming back and wondering where all his icons went. Looking at this approach, I wonder just isn't it just easier to play the attainted? Uh, tiebreakers. That's what I think will happen. Um, Looks like they will get an extra round, but uh, Dave, please have mercy on my soul. And uh, by far, they are not playing small for a Martel shenanigans. I'm very happy that they are uh, keeping pace here. So, the melee was cancelled, and there is a free range for the intrigue and the military challenge. Now, luckily there was no milk, uh, and let's see if it will be interpreted all of them or just one. Ooh, yeah. Wait, why with him? Huh? Did they, what did they miss, guys? Uh, what did they miss? Um, don't you want to do a military with that guy? Usually. You see, on the fourth trick. And... Best kill spell in the game. Fortunately, no one playing that anymore. But looking at this, you think that they are, there is definitely tears. And you see a door trigger for the first time, lingering venom. Just two more, and not that imp impactful. Discard this turn around, fortunately. And dominant goes to Leonard. Curious why no military. Any, I mean, maybe Nimeri would have died then. I don't think so. So you will march into the Harris. I do expect Leonard to play here the Harris. Uh, he cannot afford the risk to, although with Dorn in hand, maybe, but uh, I don't think he can afford the risk of playing, uh, losing all of the characters. Most of them, most of these are more than once in the deck. Including the Dorn fights. Uh, how many? Like a mouse. How many times is a warrior in the deck? Okay, two times a warrior, three times viper, nightmaria. Okay, a single copy of nightmaria. So looks like that's a standard by now. We do have a bar for more jumping shenanigans. Huh? Oh. Looks like uh, Leonard decided not to play it safe and he didn't care. I find that very strange. Uh, and also, Dave looks like he didn't, didn't have the option to. So he'll be first. So we'll see the return of the condemned definitely. What was Hotosask? What the sucks uh, text? During challenges phase. We didn't even see the green dreams used. Although it did bring card economy. Mm, what did the green dreams bring? Brought a card with it. Ok, 
curious to see why Renner didn't opt it for the safe reset. Maybe he has enough fuel in his hand, all of those 12 cards. What did he found? We see Doran Martell, Dorn and Nightmares. No attachments. Which is very weird for For Valyrian still dead, not hitting the attachment part. I wouldn't be surprised not hitting the entry, uh, the, entry the event. But variants. Let's see what uh, it will be able to muster for us. Which economy will be at uh, an art title 3, 5, 7, 9 ish, around 10. If he could use all the. They gave him dupe for Doran Martell. So at least uh, he is not he knows what he's playing and when now there is another one. Uh the Vawar is gone, so maybe the plan is to march him or the Harris, although he will be there with his with his dupe. Ooh. A single recast. And not even bestowed. I mean that's a sad ally right there. Stuart. He's a sad sad Stuart. And just enough gold for Doran. Who needs money on the castle? He is a steward, he should move for free. So, and then, yep. Toss a coin to your witcher. Or a card. Reckless. Dave is still holding on to that uh, army, by the way. It's still there somewhere working for a finishing one to punch. Although he needs quite a little bit more power. Uh, Desert Scavenger. I wonder if we we'll see Doran pop down. I don't think it's a good idea. Just because there is that one pesky pesky card called Venomous Blade. And with their cutting hand, there is probably one of them there. So, yep. Looks like the correct decision to me. Going with more shots and going white. And we get that this with power that they foolishly found the way to put on his uh, faction card. Winter Gardens, so we will see an attachment location. Otas Ask? Otas Ask maybe? For uh, another card draw?
And yeah, pop, pop it back on Ariana. Uh, does this work? This doesn't work that way. Pretty short. Hmm. Oh well. And no surprise to anyone, there is not a single challenge that they want to do now. Just because Dorn is there. Unfortunately, looks like he cannot defend the power challenge as well. Or the maybe the Shadow Speed Buster will just sneak in and just jump by himself. I definitely don't understand the ones of the ones of play uh, at some point. I mean, Rikas will be nailed by the reckless, so. That's what happens. Thank you, Shadow. So, looks like that's what I know was fishing for that uh, Dorn trigger. Not sure uh, why, though. I mean the more the merrier, but we uh, we all know that there is uh, enough resources in Leonard's hand. Almost everything he wanna do. Let's look what plots are left for uh, both players. Uh, for Leonard, we have the Helis and you win or you die. So maybe next time he will try to call. Not a great solution just because he will be to reserve. But hey, you win or you die. And then for Dave, we have exposed duplicity, CP besieged. Nothing, not much work it can be done there. Uh, duplicity is dead, we have March, and we have Kels. And maybe a few more money. So, Besieged, Exposed, Mining, Mark, Helis, yep, that's five. Uh, there was a Venomous Blade, actually. Curious to see that one discarded and not something else. My, my phone is informing me that it wanna die. Oh. It cannot handle the activity in the chat. So we are about to see Manning yeah. and into you in order nine. Interesting to see that Leonard sequence those in the other way around. Usually you pay you play your exchange after uh, you win or you die just for you to be able to recuperate your hand a little bit if you cannot call down, but we see that the bone of the the host of the bone vein is here with and the comeback is now 
again there you see the carries that uh, is coming next turn and they should be aware of it but I don't think he gets uh, get any say in that one of the nightmares is out so maybe we'll see a real shenanigans but Ariel Koto is dead at this point We see Duporian That Shadow City Buster could prove very key now And we do have a, and we do see a game for both uh, Probably most of it for Princess Pawn shenanigans Water Gardens I just wonder what else because uh, could come down with Water Gardens at this point Dormus played Usil by the guard or Gaston will be seized for turn or two is the question. So it will be seized by two for uh, two turns gaining gold out of it. Water and grow, second one, and this will be probably Dorm. Uh, Dor Doran. Arteo, Juk, we know there is a Juk, although it's pretty useless, considering there is a Duk here, it is, as mentioned, and we, we could pretty easily see March next turn from uh, Dave. Uh, so, this could be massive pain in the ass. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure if how Dave will be able to push through a military challenge so he could read so he could get rid of the small characters. Uh, and there is a lot of cheap paper ambush, so we have done five that could uh, come out and play probably. I was just about to say what I'm thinking, but looks like the game crashed again. And we show Barra and Rose Road and no gold. So now is the prime time for that because the thinking play. Although there could be a deep attachment, but mainly that will be a that will be play for. Uh,
Ooh. Uh, yeah, that has to be done preemptively if he is expecting to see his code thinking. Looks like they could play defensively this, uh, this turn around, so he's planning for one more turn. And just to close with they want to punch as mentioned earlier, and we do know that his deck is more than capable of doing that. So Leonard definitely cannot uh, play defensively here, he should be pushing. Uh, so one line of action is to push the intrigue, uh, do a chump inter challenge like he did last time. Was the challenge Gain a card and then uh, do it to claim military and then to claim intrigue. Although you probably want to claim intrigue more than anything else. You see a power challenge with Obara. Uh, but then again, he probably cannot win the military just because there is Princess uh, Plans in the hand. Although Ariane is at 7 strength, nothing to mess about. I'm curious, wasn't there really no option for uh, Dave to try at least do a military? And kneel down something. Like Doran, for example. Indorni Spy, remove an intrigue icon. Dave is not a fan of those intrigue icons. Curious why Dave opted not to get the Princess Pants with his hand. And just move an intrigue icon. And the intrigue is a challenge that he definitely can defend. By the way, my phone died, so I do not see the chat. I do hope. It's not active, you decided to be active just now. Very unfortunate. Um, Inter challenge the castle will jump into the inter challenge regardless. So with this uh, economy, so looks like um, I think it's wise to let the challenge go through so you don't get a military claim. Uh, but looks like Dave is... Actually, do you care for the military claim? 
the, unfortunately there is no gold to get the printed font back to your hand would have been nice considering you're defending the uh how's it thinking hey how's it thinking United the sun. So that will make sure that there is no military claim. And a little bit of renown. And we see okay how the NF court and Karyan discarded so I mean Karyan hurts a little bit. But it's not the end of the world. And we see a return of Ubara. So now there is again more than enough friends for the military challenge. But that could lead into a good march. Uh, into a good uh, Duheris march situation. Or Something along those lines. Nope. Mean they for veteran fancy head owners. Uh, it does matter if you ask me, <laughs> just because you'll be able to push with a single challenge. Yes. So. Okay, uh, uh, what Leonard is trying uh, to say is that when the character enters play, uh, Ariane goes back to hand is the same action window. Uh, but looks like it's not... No, I don't think it should work uh, that way, honestly. Uh, but it may still be the same action window, I'm not sure. A big military challenge just to pause it and then give the castle to claim with the with this guy Knight of the Sun unfortunately you have to go and then keep the oh no army is six cost Okay, so he'll be able to, uh, with the with the incoming the carries, they should be able to, do, to save both of his characters, which is very good. And with this, he'll try to win Dominus as well. Yep. Uh, we see the condemn going back to hand, but then again, armies. Good thing about army characters. No attachment. The same good thing about all the Nightwork characters. No attachment. Except weapon wood. Aside from Pinch, there is a, and uh, we see Ubarra returning to hand. The Flower Twins, and now you can see the attachment. These guys are weird. Uh, I mean, in a good way. So I wonder if uh, now Renard will save uh, Doran and uh, the Power Twins. Pretty beefy body. And 
Spain India to deal with. Give a little two for a goal. This definitely ensures the dominance. No, who cares? Uh, I wonder if March is a good solution here. Uh, you have to get rid of the Knights of the Sun, uh, but then you force uh, uh, Condemned is gone, Venomous Blade is gone. Uh, those guys who will return in Dorn and Water Gardens will return. Um, doesn't matter, but so I still do. I would say each cards here. So what I'm saying is, if uh, they decide, if uh, Leonard is afraid of the, I mean, is the Harris into besieged? Uh, so looks like they will want to go on the offensive here. Uh, yeah, two claim could be more than enough. So this could force uh, Leonard to save the chutz with alongside Doran just because the shadow the shadow city could control Night of the Sun. There is a small character here to return and there is two of them here so they're quite natural resources so yeah and looks like that's what happens the two claim he decided to save the small character and control the Night of the Sun. And the two border. Uh, why the orange groves, Dave? Dave, why not the just this thing? The water garden. I mean, it does new. <laughs> what is this? You see where the guard and the third uh, green boat trader finding the last few pieces. Uh, the who oh, was right on the shadow of the bastard is huge. Huge. Amazing. Amazing. And to go for all the bad things you want to do afterwards. He the scavenger, Ariam, then still by the hand. Curious to see that, uh, yeah, and I, I saw it in the list, but uh, currently there are only three targets in total, I think, that could carry that thing Viper, Doran, and Ariam. Uh, I don't think any other. Uh, Warrior. Oh wait, that's the wrong list. Oh, Martel list will be the same. Oh, is Sewari a lady? I don't think she is a lady here. Yeah. So, yeah. The only targets are... Uh, Viper... Okay, well, no wait, there is Quentin. Now we know there is Ubara in hand. He's a big what? Yep, fat. It's a big F. Curious to see why the water gardens was not used. Uh, did Planner assume it was not?
And the, there could have been three more goals. <laughs> well, Viper got more goals. He opted not to save him, so... Big injury challenge for a zillion ton of power. Although that will probably lose uh, Dave's uh, icons a little bit. There is gold for positive for top Doron. Family nightmares. So looks like pretty good draw if you ask me. For uh, yeah, pretty good draw if you ask me for if you are a planner side. So he drew into. So either he had Seal and Nightmares and drew into Ariam. And that one other card. Although and now we know Obara is in the hand. I think Obara is in the hand. So he saved Obara and Seal of Nightmares. And looks like Doron will try to defend. Um, yep, Princess Pass will make sure that uh, they win the challenge. So now Ubara will be removed from the hand. But there could be a military icon then. And we'll see military challenge, definitely. Yeah. And Dave is more or less forced to remove Ubara now. Just because the Ariane Ubara dance is so hard to deal with. Unfortunately, that seal of the hand could prove very troublesome. Yep. And help... Uh, They are close now. So. On the post power eleven. On a post in trick. Uh, 13, 14 dominance, unfortunately, will go today, uh, today. So we'll see one more round for sure. And looks like Dave doesn't care about that. Although he'll, uh, what? Why the military? Military trade out, trade out loses the game. And is there hoping to have one more uh, round? That sounds like a bad one to me. Connection, reconnection, everyone. Unfortunately, I don't think Dave can coach in a single turn. I don't see how, unless there are two Doran's games and two Intrigue challenges, which I find it surprisingly if it happens. 
both of his prints is sponsored in the discard pile. Well, Inter Challenge. And it's a dark star pit. So the Doran's game is still there. That one, that's a Doran's game, definitely. Uh, and dominance too. Yep. So now the here is for Dave, maybe. Just to get the Venomous Blade back. Uh, would be nice if they flip the quad actually. Yep. Immediately win or you die for uh, Leonard. I mean, knowing it's in the last turn, it does make sense. And looks like he'll be first. Oh, brave, brave, Leonard. So, same as before. Uh, host the Knight of the Sun. Ariane going back on the bottom. Let's see if uh, uh, Leonard will have the same God draw as faster. Now Gaston is back on the menu. Tons of initiative for uh, Dave. Discard pile. So last term, if uh, was reduced by water gardens. I think there was the possibility to have the challenge and win dominance. I'm not sure if the map checks out, but I kind of feel like there was a, that kind of possibility. Looks like Dave drew into a dead character. Into right hand. One gold is, I mean, just enough, basically. We have one character here, small, that could be marshaled. And would be very sad if now Leonard drew into all his dead characters. But then again, Doran is pretty safe with his view of the hand. And definitely more than enough strength to push that power challenge through. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter just because he didn't let Dave win Dominance last turn. And what? He decided not to marshal anything? Interesting. So 
So it looks like there is some sort of ambush shenanigans in hand. We have one spy, one southall already used, and here none of them. How many standard running? So three times spy, three times two times shadow ski, three times southall messenger. So a lot of ambush. So. Everyone waiting in the in anticipation. Ten gold is more than enough to have everything you need. And unfortunately, if they're planning, if they now has to want to play for another round, I think the smart uh, choice is just to not do anything. Unfortunately, you have to post everything and doing dominance, which sounds. Pretty tall order. Render connected just a second time. Yep. So, I find that the next one. Actually, I think Quarter Gardens was zero last turn. Yeah, maybe that was the case. Thank you if you shouted in chat that I'm wrong. Much appreciated. Okay, first door is fine. Remove power icon. These are the few and far in between. I mean, or intrigue. Um, intrigue. And we don't need to challenge. I think he's going for dominance win actually. <laughs> so eight and six fourteen versus Yep. Leonard is going for a dominance win. Just to be on the safe side. Don't run in anything don't run to anything troublesome. Take your dominance, count it twice. Uh, five. It's ten to sixteen. Uh, ten to fourteen for dominance. So looks like that will be it. We'll see probably one last trigger of door, and or Doran uh, removing an icon himself, like a power icon or something, and doing power challenge. But with this line of play, you make yourself just win with dominance.
it is a phase it is important one so yeah And when I'm disconnected, the wind goes to dawn. <laughs> Dave, but unfortunately, I don't think anyone will agree even if Leonard dropped now that the game is his. Mandatory dawn trigger. And to this drum to give him a military icon and take dominions. Sneaky or not. Uh, congrats to Germany with this. This score is, I think, tie. 3 to 3. Uh, yeah, looks like that will be it. Uh, we have a tie, which is what better day to be. Uh, alive. Tomorrow we have three games that I do hope to cover. Else, I'm pretty sure someone will find time to cover the last three games. They are in succession. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you all for joining us and see you hopefully tomorrow.